Reactions. Gotta love them. There are six types of basic reactions. Synthesis, decomposition, single replacement, double replacement, acid base, and combustion. In this video, we'll be taking a closer look at hydrocarbon combustion reactions. Combustion reactions, by definition, require flame to proceed. Combustion reactions are always exothermic due to the difference of bond strengths within the reactants. In a standard hydrocarbon combustion reaction, carbon dioxide and water are always produced, but the amount produced varies depending on the hydrocarbon used. Carbon dioxide and water are both released in gaseous form. Finally, the hydrocarbon in a standard hydrocarbon combustion reaction always reacts with the oxygen from the air to form the products. Let's walk through an example of a hydrocarbon combustion reaction using what we just learned. Methane is burned in air. Methane is given as a reactant, so we can put that down. Recall that hydrocarbon combustion reactions always include oxygen as a reactant. As a general rule, when a reaction such as this one mentions air, you can infer that oxygen will be included as a reactant. As the final rule states, carbon dioxide and water are always produced in hydrocarbon combustion reactions. Our reaction is nearing completion. Now all we have to do is balance it. On the left side of the equation, we have four hydrogen atoms, whereas on the right side, we only have two. To fix this imbalance, we need to change the molar ratio of water from one to two. We now have four hydrogen atoms on the right side. Note that we have four oxygen atoms on the right side now as well, two from the carbon dioxide molecule and two total from the water, and only two oxygen atoms on the left side. In order to compensate for this, we must change the molar ratio of oxygen from 1 to 2. Now let's make sure our equation is balanced. Let's take a look at the left side first. There's one carbon and four hydrogen atoms from the methane and four oxygen atoms from the oxygen molecules. Let's look at the right side next. There's one carbon and two oxygen from the carbon dioxide molecule and four hydrogen and two oxygen atoms from the water molecules. And that's balanced. Let's take a look at a visual representation of the reaction. Here we have one mole of methane and two moles of oxygen. Let's watch as the atoms rearrange themselves. The atoms have rearranged themselves into two moles of water and one mole of carbon dioxide. And there you have it. Want to see the reaction in action? We certainly did. Let's take a look. This is our setup. We've prepared methane bubbles using methane, water, and dish soap, and we are going to ignite them. Okay, so we are going to be demonstrating the methane is burned in air combustion reaction. All right, so we start off with methane bubbles, and she has the flame. Yes. Now please, don't try that at home. We had special safety precautions for that experiment. You may have seen Olivia jump a little bit, but that was merely because the reaction startled her, not because it hurt. Now let's watch that again in slow motion. Now you can't see it here, but water and carbon dioxide were released in gaseous form. All right, that's all we have for you today. Just remember these rules and you'll be golden. Thanks for watching.